Hey everyone and welcome back. In today's Roblox Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fall damage system for your game. This system will dynamically calculate damage based on how far your character falls, so the higher the fall, the more damage they'll take. We'll be using a combination of physics detection, player events, and instant collision detection to make this as realistic and responsive as possible. Let's get started. So in my last video, we made a tornado that sucks you into it it throws you up into the air uh, but when you land no damage is done and you're perfectly fine so this is what we're going to use to test out our fall damage if you want to watch that video i'll make it appear in the top right corner of your screen right about now or you can go to the description and i'll put a link to the video in the description with that out of the way let's get started with our script so go to your server script service click the plus icon and select script Let's rename this to be server fall damage script. We want to put it in server script service because it's going to handle the fall damage for all the players in the game. So it'll keep it centralized and effective across all clients. So first off, let's start by getting the necessary services. We're using players to access each player in the game and run service to help us track the player's movement in real time. Now let's define some constants. The fall threshold is the minimum height the player needs to fall before they start taking damage, and the damage multiplier controls how much damage is applied per unit of fall distance beyond that threshold. Now we need to monitor each player as they join the game and their character as it gets added. Here we're listening for when a new player joins and then when their character is added. Once we have the character, we grab references to two key parts, the humanoid, which controls the player's health, and the humanoid root part, which is the core of the character that we'll use to track their position and velocity. Now we want to detect when the player starts falling. We'll use runservice.heartbeat to continuously track their humanoid root part's velocity. Here's what's happening. We're setting up two variables, is falling and start height. Is falling keeps track of whether the player is in a falling state and start height stores the height where the fall begins. In the heartbeat function, we check the player's Y velocity. If the velocity is less than negative five, meaning they're falling downward and they're not already marked as falling, we set is falling to true and record the start height. If velocity y is greater or equal to zero, it means they've stopped falling and we set is falling to false. The print statement helps us debug by telling us when the fall starts and from what height. Now that we know when the player starts falling, we need to know when they land. We'll use the touched event for this. Let's break this down. We listen for the touched event on the humanoid root part, and when the player makes contact, we check is falling is true, which ensures that they're actually falling. Uh, we also check if the touched object is part of the workspace. We want to make sure they touch the ground or another valid part. And we also want to check if the touched object is not part of the character. This prevents collisions with the player's own body or accessories from triggering fall damage. If these conditions are met, then we calculate the fall distance by subtracting the end height from the start height. Also, if the fall distance is greater than our fall threshold, we calculate the damage and apply it using humanoid take damage. And finally, we reset is falling and start height to prepare for the next fall. The print statement here shows the fall distance and the damage applied, which is helpful for debugging. So that should be it for our script. Let's press play and test it out. All right, let's see what happens. Awesome. Let's do it one more time. And 
and it is working fantastically if that's even a word all right so that's gonna wrap up the video guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe comment all that good stuff or don't i'm just glad you watched the video and i will see you guys in the next one